this is the key for the car this is the old one still um, they're gonna have the new one like the rest of the line uh, starting from next year going the interior guys as you know i'm a big fan of the steering wheel uh, it's something that you hold all the time the most and the pedals of course so the steering wheel here is made from napa leather and alcantara on the sides uh, it's nice stitching as well i believe those are the standard black you can you know have them in different color if you want to amg logo there this is the previous steering wheel from amg the device steering wheel as you see on the s class e class and the c class it's not here yet uh, it's gonna be there in the 2019 model the paddle shifters are fixed on the steering wheel they're made from aluminium they don't laminate like the audi there but you have it down and you have the up there and they feel very good they're very clicky and they, you know i love them uh, i mean very solid good quality the mirror of course is fixed on the door which is very sporty that triangle here is from blind spot um i mean it's fixed on the mirror uh, Mercedes has been doing that for some time and it's fu functional but how they do it better stitching there uh, hard plastic but still stitching which is cool you have the you know soft leather there you have a nice chunk of aluminium here you know you see that seating positions that you can adjust you know yeah, I mean really nice three memory seats as well this is heating uh, seat not the ventilated one I don't need the heated it's too hot already nice quality for the door Lock and unlock, they're hidden there. Um, you can control the windows from here, the trunk, and then you can control the mirrors from here. Barometer sound system, it's very good, much bet better than the Harman Kardon there. Nice speakers, they're everywhere. You have all the driving aid here, like Mercedes, they do that. In assist, parking, 360 camera, and uh, this is the head-up display. Now, uh, lights are all fully controllable from here, of course. Handbrake parking, which is located here. I'm a big fan of the uh, analog uh, cluster there. I mean, they're very clear and they have a big screen in the middle and the animation is the best. I mean, Mercedes do it very nicely, I love it. You have the gas mileage here. You control all of this function, the middle screen from by pressing up and down. You have the eco display mode, range of the car and it's very responsive and the best part of all of this that uh, it's actually keep changing based on your driving uh, dynamics speedometer and from start how much you spend gas you press the back button here and you can navigate through trip navigation radio so you have the shortcuts as well on the screen i love the amg mode man here really nice and you still have the speedometer there on up so i really like this mode my favorite voice command and home bottom screen uh, telephone you can take it and you can close it there's two buttons for the telephone and the, the mute button and the volume control going to the central console again this is a new uh, screen it's a bit bigger than the uh, previous one it's still fixed on the dashboard start and stop button here the vents are all circular and they do have you know kind of solid feeling the shortcut buttons here for the ac I mean, they look pretty good, but I'm not a bigger fan anymore. I don't know why they look kind of plain. You have the shortcuts again for navigation, radio, media, telephone, and the vehicle settings and the hazards. You can control all of this, uh, you know, uh, menu here from the wheel knob. This is touchpad again. It's pretty responsive. I don't know why they kept it here. I prefer they do it and uh, not here. Just remove this one, have a gear leader maybe instead of having it there on the steering wheel which is very old man and uh, just did not change for years if they do it here again and they put the uh, you know the touch control here it'll be nice like the audi and bmw i have some problems with the mercedes one for sure they tend to be not so responsive like the others uh, but dynamic settings of the car you definitely have uh, individual configuration here I put everything in Sport Plus. I mean, look, uh, you can put the uh, driver mode in different settings. Even the climate control you can change, that's crazy. Eco start, stop button, I mean, it's always gonna be off. Uh, steering, Sport Plus. It's a nice touch for the individual mode. Everything you wanna go back, you just you press that back button. Cup holders, they're adjustable, they're good size. The ash tree, you can put coins there. AMG have it, carbon fiber or glossy black and there's AMG logo there but it's nice that you can close it so the design looks better now here you can control the settings of the car by pressing up and down nice click to the bottom it's individual mode you can uh, adjust it as we saw earlier this is sport plus you have sport 
and comfort. You can hear the exhaust rumble goes down as soon as you put it in comfort and the commode is just, I don't know who use it. So individual all the way. You can see both displays at the same time, here and there. This is the manual mode that you can press one time in order to take it from automatic to manual. You adjust the suspension here, you have comfort, you call it ride control. It's not a sports uh, suspension, so you can have it comfort, sport and sport plus. Traction control, handling both sport if you keep pressing on it, the volume knob. I mean, I wish they use it for different purpose. Seat belt, you press it, it will come to you. This function uh, for start and stop, it hold your brake basically, turn off the screen. Storage is pretty good guys, it's really deep and it has two USBs and SD card and even there is Wi-Fi charging here but I mean you must have the right phone uh, location wise it's not so great but size wise amazing those are the sports seats in red very comfortable uh, side bolsters they're okay review is a bit tight because of the shape of the car you can control all the lights from here guys um, they're not LEDs, you can control them individually. You have a storage for sunglasses, which is cool. Roof, it's panoramic, so it's a full roof, which is great. It gives so much light for the car. You can turn it off and on. You press on it, it will open. I love panoramic roofs. Press again, it will close. Wait for it. You can control the blinds, the sunshade, as much as you like. It's very hot, so we'll close it. It gives a lot of, uh, you know, uh, light to the car, even when the sun uh, shade is off. So that's the interior for you guys.